Kyle, let's start talking about the other night then. Let's talk about your goal first of all, shall we? That seems like a good place to start. How how pleasing was it to get on the score sheet again? No, delighted. Uh, it's been a long time coming, but uh, no, happy to be back amongst the goals. Um, yeah, no, brilliant result, great performance, especially go down to 10 and get the win at the end. Good penalty from Ruben, great performance from him as well and all the boys. Yeah, I mean, it really was a great performance throughout the whole thing, really. You know, pegged back twice, down to 10 men, but the drive remained throughout, didn't it? Yeah, that's what I see. I, you can see within the squad, we've got that resilience, that hunger and everyone sticks together. Um, and yeah, I thought the performance, we definitely deserved the win and uh, we, everyone was so happy we got that outcome, especially with the uh, run before we was going through. The performances were there, but the results weren't, weren't sort of there, what we wanted. But um, I thought it was only a matter of time before we got a win and um, got back amongst the goals as well. Yeah, from a personal point of view, what's that moment like when you've waited so long for a goal and then you get that chance and you see it go over the line? Just tell me yeah. what that moment's like. It must be a huge relief. Yeah, definitely. Uh, the recent games, a lot of frustration from me. But to be fair, the manager had a few conversations with me, said, look, you're doing everything I want you to do for the team. Don't worry, the goals will come. And all the boys sort of said that. The captain said that to me as well. So... I've tried not to focus on it too much, um, even though everyone's going to sort of be thinking about it. But that's the first sort of run I've had since I've been here to go without that uh, goal for that long. Like I say, it was, was a frustrating time. But at the end of the day, it's not about me scoring goals. It's about the team getting results and climbing the table. That's the most important thing to me. So, yeah, no great result the other night. Yeah. But on a personal note, you know, you are, as a striker, you know, you, you know you're... You sort of you're there to score the goals, and when you're in the midst of, of a run like that, how difficult is it? Because you know you know your track record is that you do score goals. You know strikers go through these things. You know players come out of it. But when you're in the midst of it, how much does it play on your mind anyway? Yeah, no, it, um, it does play on your mind. But when the games are coming, you just got to try and focus. I was just trying to focus on what my job was for the team, and a few games, I had a few really good chances and sometimes I thought, oh, I missed that or how's the goalkeeper save that? And it, it, you literally just go through a sort of run where it just doesn't fall your way. Um, but yeah, no, I just got me down, trying to work hard and like I say, do my play my role and do my job for the team and it'll come and like I said, like obviously the other night it was only a matter of time sort of thing the boys said and it, like you say, it's just a release off your shoulders and nice to get that goal. How much of that win and seeing the players run over and celebrate with Enzio as well was about that sort of unity of the team given what had happened you know, in the 24 hours building up to it? Yeah, I just think in the performance, um, I think it shows what we're all about and we've got a great bunch in there that will want to fight and stick together and everyone's behind each other no matter what. And like I say, in the performance, you saw that and in the celebration, um, now we've just got to stick together as we have and push for these last few games and hopefully get into that playoffs and then anything can happen if we get in there. Obviously, uh, I'm not going to go into great detail about what happened with Mo Ross, but clearly the club dealt with it very quickly. Um, how difficult was that sort of 24-hour period with, with all of that going on and trying to prepare for a game? Yeah, it wasn't easy. Um, it was It was tough, but everyone's professionals in there at the end of the day we had a job to do and we had to prepare for the game obviously the other night um, to a man everyone was brilliant uh, the preparation was there the training was good before so fair play to all the staff the boys everyone at the club um, there was full focus on the game um, obviously it was tough but like I say you can see within the squad how professional everyone was towards the game and we got the outcome in the end, what we wanted, which was the result we wanted, and it was a great performance to go with it as well. So I was really delighted with that. Yeah, you've got Michael Doyle stepping up now into a coaching role. I mean, he's a senior player anyway, obviously, uh, and, and captain. But as how's that changed things uh, amongst the sort of dynamic of things? Um, I wouldn't really say it's changed much. Um, Doyle, you could say, is a coach already, sort of thing. The way he manages us and helps everyone out on the field and leads the team but no I think it's I think it's great uh, great from the manager doing that I think obviously he knows us all as players and how we want to work and he's got so much experience there's not many players that have that much so I think it'll be brilliant um, he's, he, like I say he's basically a coach in my eyes already the way he um, manages all the players and helps helps us through situations um, so no no brilliant I think it'd be great for him as well 
great experience and I think we've uh, he's got everything we need to hopefully get through into the playoffs and like I say then it's all to play for. And then getting that win as you did against one of the best teams in the division and I thought they showed that the other night as well with some of the football they played and the mm. fact that they came back twice as well. What can that do for you now at, at such a crucial time of the season? Yeah, I think from the run we was on before it will give us massive confidence but as the manager was saying today at the end of the day it's one win, it is against top of the league, but we've got games coming. We've got Barnet at the weekend, which won't be an easy game going down there, but our, our full mind is on getting the three points and a good result and another good performance. It seems like you've often done better against the teams who play better football, some of the better teams in the division. Is it is it about trying to find some of those wins between now and the end as well against in those ugly games? Yeah, yeah no, that's it. I think like playing like we did the other night, I think they sort of suit us the way they come and press. Obviously, uh, we got good players with the ball at the feet and we can move the ball well, so it suited as well the other night. Um, but I think there was something there different that we was really up for it and we could see that everyone was stuck together. But yeah, that's that's the thing. I think we've got to uh, go into these games, like you say, a Barnet who are near the bottom of the league, the bottom of the league. We've got to go there and show no fear and just do exactly what we did the other night. When we play with that intense, uh, ten- and, sorry, intensity and p- play the ball as we can, Teams can't sort of deal with it, so we we said we've just got to sort of stick at that. I know you won't be able to do it for the full game, but we've got to sort of match that game by game and take it into the the upcoming games after as well.